the massive high school towards the house is high school towers over the other building in the blasting the urban area it is like the school stands out in the center of the in entire world Holt's Peak Academy it brings the, in top students from every field imaginable a government funded school of privilege they say that if you come here and manage to graduate you'll be set for life with hundreds of years of tradition it sends the cream of crop into the world into the workforce every year it was built to raise hope in the nation's future which which makes host peak academy which makes host peak a pretty fitting name there are two things you need to attend this school one you have to already be attending high school too you have to be the very best at what you do not original students no ori ordinary student could enroll here the only way in if if you're scouted by the school itself and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate students was me before we go any farther i guess i should introduce myself my name's makoto naegi Hi, Nakoto. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grade, school, grade, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever like if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or tv show they all just be whatever most popular at that particular moment you ain't you ain't got no life bro even among the average i am completely average so i can't even say i'm your everyday hero type that's just who i am anyone i figure is all Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so so to speak, I'll say I'm a little more gang ho than other people. I mean, look at me, I'm completely original, but still, here I am standing in front of the everything but original Hope Peak Academy. I can still believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It got the overwhelming petite presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel the way what the way what what you have to understand is well let me just tell you about the potential possible I did last night to get ready for today. Post Academy invites only students who are the true elites in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are training online dedicated to talking about the school's attendance. So to prepare, I looked up some of these attendants. And all I saw was talking about ultimate students who were way beyond your average school high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who also also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also an ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the nation high school champ pro team already have their eyes on him. And there's the ultimate fashionist. Yeah, she got she got uh no on April Fool's Day, 400 yen. She's been on covers of tons of fashion magazines. She was what every high school girl wants to be. And oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is he is the deep lift fata leader of biker gangs in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the love the guy on top of that there's the ultimate martial artist the ultimate fantasy creator the ultimate gambler the ultimate swimming pro the ultimate programmer the ultimate chlor 
Nyena and the, and then others. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who would it into a pride of lions. Who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I could find any info on no matter how much I looked. With all these ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthless talent. But then, what about these other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could there be just an average student like me without any talent or anything? They thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there is an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the accomplishment letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one original student to attend our high school. As a result, you have you as a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spell it out plain as they I get invited by a by pure luck. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing graduation, graduating was a Guaranteed for success later, letter, success, success later in life. I can't read. I just don't say why. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerves. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever, frozen in place, murmuring to myself. I looked down at the reception letter, clutch in my hand. I said, "There." There'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting st still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I, I gather up all my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. The only, there's a real elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there still is a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so worn, wound up. I got here way too early. I had plenty, I had plenty of time before the meeting just standing around waiting isn't exactly I should take a look around the school maybe that maybe that'll help me calm down a little I am a student there are I am a student here now so there should be any problems with me having a look around I'll help I'll help me kill some time if nothing else trying to play is cool I took my first step into the whole Fick Academy it was only my first step towards starting a new life at a new school at least that was what I was hoping for I gotta take me a drink whoa what's going what is this what the but the intense I took the first step towards my view becoming wrapped twisted it was only it was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else spinning mixing melting away then spinning again and the next moment everything went black that was how it all began and how life as i knew came to an end at the point i should have realized the reason i was brought to whole speak academy wasn't because i had ultimate good luck it was because it was it was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh man, what the heck? Welcome to Despair Prologue. Do you want to save your game? Yes, I do. Can't take any chances. What? Where am I? 
I woke up with my head resting on top of my hard wooden desk. My body felt feels really heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zoink out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom. I've never been in here before. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Host Peak Academies. Firstly, we like you we like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If your aim at an object, you can interact with it. Press the X button and press and and proceed you'll investigate the object. Use the direction button on the on or the left uh, L1 and R1 button to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? something right there that the desk I fell asleep on I, I can still see a line of drool I must have left there I have to clean that up later hey what's that on the desk an orientation guide it seems kind of cheap looking for him prompt uh, pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it the next sense is because is about to start starting today the this school will be your entire world what the hell is this someone's idea of a joke i can't go over there it's a camera right here is is that a surveillance camera it's a dangerous world we live in i guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Alright, so I can't go over there. Can't go down here. It must be something else to investigate somewhere. I can't go over there. Alright, so I already looked at the clock. Oh, I can move it with the... Oh, okay, I see. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Is there something down here? No. All right, what's over here? What the heck? Is any normal classroom that where, where a window should be? But it looks like some kind of metal plates have been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, yep, definitely metal thick, too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More important, why are there metal plates all over the window? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. Is that true? It must mean... This is a classroom inside Holt's Peak. But then, if that's true, that that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, these metal plates covering the window, it's like it's a prison or something. None of these makes sense. Makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main classroom. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there waiting. Uh, you can leave the classroom by pressing circle. Leave the area. Geez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting strange by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'm ju I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. He hold the O button while moving to the run. You can also press the triangle to bring up a map. Press the triangle button again to close the map out convenient. Alright, so let's see what's in here. Room 1B, the, the door is locked tight. The Spare Hotel. I guess this is a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get the, to the main hallway. Alright, so I can't go in there. I'm going to turn around. I wonder if anybody in here yet. 
The AV room is locked. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already here. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing there, bef standing there before me were the ultimate students that had been picked for the by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered here, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I just imagined it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Huh? How? How's it going? My name is Miko Nagatsu. Sorry, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? Oh, you too. Mm. Th things seem, things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declared beyond a student of a doubt th that this is a strange situation indeed. Mm. What are you thinking about? I honestly have no idea. What's going on right now? Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tradition is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. You're to be late on your first date. This is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? Oh, what's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He he didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce huh? ourselves? The hell? The hell now. No time for fragging or, or introduction. <laughs> freaking introduction. Maybe, maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we, who, who we all are before digging into bigger problems, right? I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's name? Yeah. That's a good point. Um. Okay, so let's get introduced out of the way. Let's get introduced out of the way. We we can move on with it whenever else sounds good. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to think for, to just focus on getting to know each, each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on Host Pick Academy trends online, but I still don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to these five over here. Aim for a student. And, okay. Each conversation, is, each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track on how they go. Okay. Hey, I'm buddy. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Sure thing. Kiyomatsu Sakari. So, that's Kiyomatsu. According to what I saw about him on the trends, he wants to be a famous private school. He went He went to a famous private school, one top honor every year. He's basically a flawless stu honor student. He also know for work he done with his community, public moral community. They say he respect rules. All of, above all that, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Mm. Anyway, you can call me Takai. Takai, you said your name was Multi Nagatu, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent you name. You hear me? And keep. And keep that name for losing its value. You must devote yourself every single Got day. It. Life is weird. Putting every one of effort into it. Right, right? This guy is kind of annoying. It's hard to do these voices. Hey, Not sweetie. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Hey, Toko. You seem kind of shy. I like me a shy girl. Toko Fiyawa, the ultimate writer. 
Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10. That got everyone talking and launched her entire career. Then two years ago, she released So Lung the Ocean, a long story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women, the fishman, fisherman quickly shot to the top of every hottest man pole. Despite her, uh, despite her age, she won countlessly entire and literally prizes in all her, in all her books and instant bestseller which is where she came to be unknown to be known as the ultimate writing writer she also could would ah she what else would you call such a young and talented author but i figured she would be a lovely dove type what type with what with her masterpiece bring a romantic and all <laughs> We have what's in the bottom. What's your problem? What? It, it's, it's not po polite to, to stare, you know? What stop the heck? Oh, stop staring at me. I'm some filthy creature. F filthy creature. No, I I just... <laughs> I, I know what, what you just thought. You just... You've never seen such an ugly woman. You just... And thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling Don't you. Don't bother telling lies to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you and I can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I really don't care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferior com complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Whoa. She, she went from zero to a hundred real quick. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I Hi, look Sayaka. forward to getting to know you. What is she? She's the ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively amazing. And that's LOL his cringe. Emoji I face can't with wait. tears of Quit. joy. Emoji Quit. face with tears of joy. Saka Yoto. When I saw Come her name Kazuma. and the chat online frequently, I was pretty su surprised. She's in a pop group, famous of across the country, and in fact, she's their head strange. The, as the ultimate pop star, she's in a hot in high demands and appears on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful almost like a doll or something i'm not a doll you know i'm alive ha, huh did you hear me I... i'm psychic whoa that's cool <laughs> she can read my mind kidding oh got me i just have a really good sensation she's a sharp one hey um hey huh hey by the by any chance now what huh? yeah it must be i'm sure of it Hey, Makoto did. Just hold on. Whoa, what's your problem? Jeez. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan on wasting our valuable time? What's this ridiculous back and forth? Um. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Just carry it away. Carry it away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Mokoti. We can't. We can talk about this later. God, that guy's an asshole. It sounds like Sakiyu really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. Okay. Hi, buddy. Who are you? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon. What are you? The ultimate baseball star. I've recognized that name. He played for the National High School Camp as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. As they superb athlete, Spaceman is. You seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? No nothing. I just care. Surprise. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all, break. what were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just. Expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. 
I mean, when I found the article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found a piece of me. You found a picture of me playing baseball. Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is n not cool. Seriously, I like mega embarrassed. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I don't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is a part of national championship religion. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. I I don't like baseball like at all. I never going, never gonna be a single practice. He never practiced, and he's still his. And it's still his team star player, some kind of pro yeah. like prodigy. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for my for the future, a a dream for the future. <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You know, feel the star quality era, or I have right. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? The new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I hear something like this from a baseball all-star. He just want to follow his dream. Hey, buddy. How, how are you? I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. The Alpha and the Omega. The ultimate fan, fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that word, I will know a supreme will regards the ultimate mm -hmm. fanfic creator. I once sold 10 billion copies of, oh, excuse me, of one of my fan comics at the school festival. This event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get, some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I t talently the event. How stupid can Tally does that. How stupid can you, can you be? That's too bad about that. But selling 10, 000, 10 million copies like that, that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiot means nothing to me. I am like Von Gogh, glossy, unpredictable in my time. I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroy all madness, particularly about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, my, Mr. Nar Nagi, you would compare it guaranteed immediately. Mm -hmm. But my work is filled with de deepest meaning. What, what, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about the embracing our basement urges. Basic urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now to talk to these five people are over here. Uh. Oh man, my throat's hurting already just from trying to do these voices. Okay, so these are okay. So who are you, sweetheart? Hey, ya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. So hey. she's the ultimate swimming pro. Asahina, she's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since since elementary school. She's been. Since an upcoming Olympic condition, she is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and all uh, mother power has been rarely discussed online. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Mikoto Nagi? <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Not, no, not something like that. It is. You that. got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right away. Yeah! Magito Nagati. Magito Nagati. She just keeps repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell exactly like it sounds. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Ha ha ha. I just, I just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. 
That's always the best way to be. Okay, sweetheart, who are you, cutie? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hi, Chihiro. I like Chihiro. Ultimate programmer. Mm. Sorry, I, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Notice, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Huh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. Why don't you... Why? Why? You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chiro Fugasi is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timed little bunny type thing going, which she endured her and her legend of fans, um, Legion of Fans. Hey, so listen. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. W huh? What are you apologizing um, for now? Well, just just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me. Oh, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm, uh, why you? Don't be upset. No, no, not at all. I just lost in thought about something. Huh? huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had something to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Ha ha. Ha. I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Yeah, me too. She's really nice. Okay, hey, baby. What's your name? Oh, she's really quiet. Mm. Can I ask you your name? Can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigi. Kyoko Kirigi. She's the ultimate... Question marks? She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hopi Academy trend. And all I did, and I didn't see that there was students like me, one who didn't have any real identi identities or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Hmm. So, what do, what are you going doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned on, uh, turned up online, so I was thinking about maybe she's j just got picked by chance like me, but her face is like an iron mask. If she didn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Wow, okay. Next up is you, sweetheart. Hi. Who are you? I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko Enishima, the ultimate fashionist. Anybody would recognize this one. Everybody recognize this one. She got more charm and presence than any high school girl in this country. She's the ultimate fashionist. I've seen her on tons of magazines covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to her reality. Reality, huh? Come on. Oh, what? Who, oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course they are totally Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah, you know, edit to hell and back with like computers and junk. You know, uh, so they are aren't really. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. They're gonna make me all the. You're gonna totally. make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days. My photos, the crap out of hell. These days to Photoshop the crap out of out of a cover. You're surprised by that. You totally blow away by a certain dangerous like little diva of ours. <laughs> They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all commanding and prolicky. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Mine aren't. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Damn, you mean as hell. Hey, Mondo. The ultimate biker gang leader. 
Mondo Iwata, huh? Which means he's currently leader of the largest biking biker gang in Japan. He earned his respect even off from from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Yo. Too. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One one wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Okay. Is this who is this? Is this fucking Brawly? I am Sakura Ogami. That's a girl? Ultimate martial arts student. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Shit, I, I had that question too. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she completed completed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial arts artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Wow. That trans also says she's a bit more about her. She called... Some call her or Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the Primus. The finest, the fine miss, missing link. Any income, incoming host Pick Academy students are who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. That's not like a good idea. Standing in front of her now, I don't think there were a arguments about that. Hey, hey, you. Huh? What? Yes? I snapped to attention without even re realizing it. Then she started to poke and proud at my body. Mm, what are you? What are you? I see. Muscular, aquatic, quick, and right around that are extremely ordinary school, high school student. <laughs> Original or high school student. Whom? What a shame. You're not as a. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Hey, Byaku. He's the ultimate influence colleges. Hi, um, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I could do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byaku is the hot hair parents of his family master's <clears throat> financial. He's already started to manage business operations and his own personal assets are well best. His title of ultimate influence in college is completely according to his definitely expression. That everything I learned about him from now from that whole Peak Academy treads online. Come on. You're done with you're done with introducing yourself. How much longer are are you gonna to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His air says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. Okay. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah. Because... I know I will. Okay, so you're the ultimate the ultimate confidence. That's a real ah. That's Gear Hakan is known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate converters. Honestly, I don't really get all of these fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Huh? Okay, I'll give up. Huh? What You're happened? Serious? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy turn. Chasing after a Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometimes and get really deep into learning and civilization. What? You're not allowed. What? We're not allowed to drink. You're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See? And. Well, it's a long story. A few times, yeah, I bet that is a long story. Okay. All right, sweetheart, who are you? I do not think we have been introduced. 
I am Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler. Celestia Gunenberg, huh? <laughs> Gunenberg, Lunenberg. It's my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer would prefer for you to call me Celestia. Oh, you are J Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why did you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lunenberg is my real name, but as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celestia. She polite but pretty forceful at sometimes. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors is that trends were right about her. The self saves Celestia Lunenberg. It, she's the ultimate gambler who never loses a bet. Other than her obvious love of goth, gothic laced clothing, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They, they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. <laughs> she totally cleaning out the other players, talking, taking their life savings and laughing as she did, as she did it. Wow. <laughs> She's a heartbreaker. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> the smile is beyond despair. I better watch myself around here. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimates, they they each have their own individual sort of um something. <laughs> okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around, make friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Baboons. Oh, that's right. I think someone sh said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you you see. Uh, um. Miko, me, me, my, ah, Mexico, you, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. And then we came to, then we came to, we had somewhere, we were somewhere here in the school that what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That's every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. <clears throat> and that's not the only thing you saw where all the windows in the classroom hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. <clears throat> and that's, there's no main hall here. The right, the front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatchet. What does this mean? But there isn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck is, what is go, what, it, what is doing here? Mm -hmm. Maybe you, we got caught up in some kind of kind of like you, you know, crime or something. Is it like... What's like a kidnapping? You you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is just part of the school orientation procedure. You know? But I should, but I'm sure that is so. I'm, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you don't think... They, they wanted to do something to surprise us. What the hell? Ah, uh, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was way, I was up way too early last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's intensity improving. But then it began. Who is this? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seems totally out of place. It was so powerful, so completely unconsidered. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unveiled dread at the sound of it. It's like, 
it was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of any accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. This guy didn't even show his face. <gasps> what the hell was that just now? Bye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey. hey, what are you gonna... Hey, what? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just to get all us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was just all... Thank God it was all a joke. I'll be totally freaking out this freak if this was real you know all right i guess i'll head out to wonder what they got planned for us <sighs> next uh, damn i was totally looking forward to the nap too why they have to go and kill that move huh? wait for me i want to go with you <laughs> that is that then i see you all there anyway uh, no, no, no not that everybody cares but i'm going to go to Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen there. I stood that uneasy feeling I had before I could get out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this, th this seems right. This is bad. Yeah, the announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying, but staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. Well, if you don't move forward, forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind. I'm kind of no real nerve. I'm kind of no real nervous. That don't make sense. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? That's right. Would I like to save? Yes, I would. All right, time to head to the gym. Is there anything else in here that I need to know? All right, what's this? Let me see what this is. A mailbox. There's nothing inside. I don't see anything else. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national's government. So I guess it's not that weird to have TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Okay, so let's head to the gym, I guess. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door definitely wasn't here then before. All right. Gotta head to the gymnasium. What is this? I better make my way to the gym. I like the whole first person walking around thing. That's pretty cool. I think this game's gonna be awesome. What's this? I better make my way to the... Oh, that's not... Start out with the gym. So it has to be back this way somewhere. A B room. I better make my oh okay. I want to know why that was taped up, but okay. Hey, come on! God, I have no idea this Hope Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. I really ain't that much different from the time I spent in ju Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. <gasps> 
and uh and why isn't there everyone why there everyone here walking through the hall i don't see a single person this is bad isn't that like uh totally seriously uh not good uh what just the, the, there just charge to spook us there they'll just take metal plates down later i'm sure of it hmm. what all all we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst nothing Adventurous, nothing game. Shit. Well, hell, it, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey. Where, who called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I too shall go. <coughs> uh, uh, well, hey, wait, don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for some tutorial actions. You can press triangle. To observe the room you're, you're in, observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay. Hey, Genico. This is bad. I'm totally getting a vibe right now. A display case. I did. Uh, I don't care about the display case. Try to talk to her. Kyoko! Totally silent. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um. Hey girl. Sayoko. What are... Where are, are all these other students? Where are we? The only ones here. We're the only ones here. Alright, so what else can you interact with? The intercom? This school has a lot of TVs. They're just all... They they couldn't all just be for the weird school broadcast, couldn't they? She filled with unease. Still filled with unease, dreaded. I don't want the announcement said. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really doesn't look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hiru was right. But in a way, it just em emphasized how completely yet normal of all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Don't tell me this is our school president or our um, huh? teacher. Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was strange things I never saw or seen. Right before my eyes, it was. What I was seeing was, it was utterly Italy and Capacitor. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright school and carefree attendance was complete out of place. And all the exhaustion I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outrage fear. Say what? What? The teddy bear can talk. <laughs> Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey! I told Come you, I'm now. not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! I'm not your he I, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? what? It moves! Dude, shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's pa Paula, it's just a remote control toy or something. <laughs> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've you've cut me down deeper than a marina tuck tuck. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even though folks at NS N A S S A could we could even compare me. Oh, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA dreams. I could bear that. Well, bear that really, really, you're unfortunate. Hmm. Now, then, move on. Moving on, we really must hurry to get started. Come on. Giving up already? Uh, no one, no other stupid bear now puns. Then. 
quiet, quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, uh, okay. So he has a, a abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and ball and bow and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You, you, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most no, no the. Know the fire and memorable injury ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what the school life here will be like. Now, um, make no, make no mistakes. You feel students so full of petite, petite, the hope of world and to protect such splendid help. You will, you will all live a community life together solo within the conference of this school. Everyone live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and abide to the rules and regardless of the school. Huh? Hmm. Uh, oh, and uh, regardless to the end date for this commu communal life, there isn't one. The other way. In other words, you'll be able, you'll be here until the day you die. What? Until the day you die. Since it since is such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> What did you just say until the day we die? Yep. Oh, oh, but don't fear. Not we have quite an abundant bridge, so we you won't lack for all the community conversation. Hold on a second. That's the last of us. That's the least of our words right now. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell are you saying? I have to live here forever. You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm not. I am no liar, so of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Oh, you just, for your information, you completely cut off from the outside world. So, you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty island behind those walls ever again. Cut off. So, all these metal plates all over the school. They're just, they're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here and reckless abandonment. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whether else is behind it or all. This is just a really bad joke. D damn you. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. I you keep saying it is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptical at all. A bunch of skeptical at all. What are you gonna do? You, but you can you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to adapt, adapt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And then the time comes, you'll see what your own eyeballs that I speak. The unbearable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now. What's the matter with all of you? You decide of your own free. You decide of your own free will to attend Hope Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided you want to leave. Hey. Um. Oh, but don't you? No. I guess I didn't. I. I guess I did forget to mention the one thing. There is one way. For you to leave the school. R really? Actually, as headmaster, I've crafted a special clawless for these of you who would like to leave. A, a call it. I call it the graduation. Now then. Now let me let tell. Now let me tell you about the fun little rules. As I am managed. Minute in order to maintain the environment of time here. We rely on communication lifestyle Communical lifestyle and if someone were to disrupt that hum harmony they and They alone would be allowed to leave the school That my students is a graduation What what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know if one person is to murder another Murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, struggling, strangling, bulging, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How? You know, you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best out. 
outcome in the world way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard these words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juice and flowing. Bet the heck. That's the heck of the human catching a Solomon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are hope of the world. But, you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darker shadow of despair. Extreme! And, and just as I find that so damn exciting... What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is what? Huh? To kill each other is... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure other directions here somewhere if you need What's it. What's saying? We need, we know what it means. That's not the problem. Why did we, why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all the nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from the moment moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yippee! And you can and you can kill as much as you want. Kill, so go ahead, go on and go on. A kill a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh. Alright, come on, how long you gotta keep this up? Mm -hmm. Huh? You know? You got us okay. You got us, okay, you scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cause I mean, you know, this is some kind of trick, and alright, so um, like... <laughs> shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hirano aside, Mandu placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole, this shit's gone way too far what the hell kind of joke is this what's the matter joke what do you mean like your hair you son of a bitch oh got him Four. mondo roared out of ro roared out and then there was sudden boom it was the sound of a floorboard as he kicked off and launched himself into the air he flew at monaco as fast and straight as a bullet he locked on his target Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What, no smartness comes? Smart ass comeback at this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping it and say something. Watch out! Watch out! Get rid get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I, I don't know. It's her first was stunned him in silence and was about a word he didn't what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. The hell? What the? That that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ear, and I couldn't smell gunpowder. Explosion. What happened all the time? It moved, moves or whatever. What? But when it was in real life, I never seen anything like that. What? But you know the means that a teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> Uh, there's another one? Damn you! You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You you did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my school rules gets off with just little sweat of a on the butt. Little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, hey. So does this mean like totally there's like a bunch of more totally of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. 
Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I don't, and I won't be forgiven with with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? That, that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well, now that exactly the commissioner is joy to enter the school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? So, as you can see, it's for d digital, so natural we can call it the e handbook. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Well, moving on, the handbook is obviously virtual to a healthy s school, bio vital to a healthy school life. So don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name always. Make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday hand notebook. It has so many more useful than what? that. It is completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It, it keeps on ticking. And thanks to a special space degree design, I can withstand an impact force of it to, of 10 times very resistant. It contains, all, it contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you drew them. You guys, Dolly. you hear me say this a lot, but any violations of school regulations will not be tolerated. <laughs> Rules restricting you, yes, but they also protect society. For example, would you you the chaos without yes, love? Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why crucial we have struck punishment and places for violations. Well, now that brings us the entire ceremony to the close. Please enjoy our abundance dream school life. And see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us with in a state of shock. So guys, how would you defy what we just experienced? Huh? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to li live here forever or I could kill. We what? J what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, it's silly to ha have two choices. Choices. Number one is we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And other choice is... Mm -hmm. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's but killing someone that <laughs> we are abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just what it is. Ridiculous. A lie. What is all this ridiculous things we heard? This, is, this all, ha all has to be fake. Hmm. Right. Now, doesn't really matter what if if it's really or fake. If it's real or fake, what matters is. In other words, is there anyone who is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To the to that, nobody has a re had a response. Keeping quiet, keeping quiet myself. I looked around at the others. They all started. They all stared one at another, trying to get, gauge each other's thoughts. I could also taste the honesty, and that's what it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to live. These words had an invasive thought deep within each other. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder if somebody's going to betray us. And that was how my new school life began. The school which I had, which I came from nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Apologies. Welcome to despair. The end. Surviving students, 15. To be continued.
Santa. Near the door to Gatsby. receive a school crest present do you want to save the data yes okay and with that you must kill someone if you want to leave my my mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, determining, determining every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had I had just to endure the weight. To survive daily life. Okay, and with that, that's going to be the end of this episode. Make sure you smash that like button so we can go ahead and continue. I think that this is going to be a great series. I'm already loving it. They gave us despair. They gave us, they gave us choices. We made friends. Now everybody's going to have to make a choice. It's either kill or be killed. I'm, I can't wait to see more. I know you can either. I'm, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. Smash that like button. Check out my second channel, which is already up, where I, where I review all anime such as games, anime shows, and, and everyday life situations. I'm, don't worry, I'm not drama alerting. I'm not, I don't slander these things. I love anime. I love every single one of you beautiful bastards as well. And if you enjoy this, let's try to get let's try to get 10 likes on this video. 10 likes, and I will if this video gets 10 likes the day of release, I will go ahead and do the next episode tomorrow. Because I, I was only th I was thinking about only doing this every Sunday. But if this video gets 10 likes, I will bring out another episode tomorrow. In a couple days, I will bring out another episode on Tuesday. How about that? Tuesday. Give this video 10 likes and another episode will come out Tuesday. How about that? All right. I love every single one of you beautiful bastards. And I'll see you guys in the next video.